Scott and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have another smoothie for you guys. Before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. All right, let's get started. So I'm super excited for today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be making a chocolate almond smoothie. Tell me that doesn't sound amazing. So all you're gonna need for this video is one frozen banana. You're gonna need some 100% cacao, cacao, not cocoa, cacao, whatever, powder <laughs> for your chocolate. Then you're going to need a dash of sea salt. Now, tell me these aren't the cutest things ever. I don't know if you guys can like, or you, if you guys can see, but this one, this one says a pinch, this one says a dash, and this one says a tad. So we're going to be using a dash of salt. So that's why I have these out here. <laughs> Then we're going to be using almond butter. So here I have a Justin's. This is honey almond butter. They didn't have the one that I had last time. I figured I'd try this one out today. So hopefully it's good. I'll let you guys know. Sheesh, I will never understand why companies make things so darn hard to open. But just wanted to see what this smelled like and looked like. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. It's not super chunky or anything. I mean, you're obviously going to have some of the oils, but it's not like the other peanut butter where there's like, you know, 10 inches of oil just sitting at the top. So, let's see how this works out. But I have high hopes. Then all you're going to need is your almond milk, and that's literally it. So, just as always, we're going to go ahead and take our Nutribullet. Little, little water, our Nutribullet or whatever blender you guys are using, and then we're just going to start adding our ingredients. So here we do have a powder. So this is what I'm going to add last, just to make sure it doesn't get stuck at the bottom or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and add in your banana. Then we're going to do a dash of salt. Then we're going to add in our almond butter. Mm -hmm. Mini spatulas are always coming in handy. Then we have our almond milk. And last but not least, this is going to be where the chocolate comes in. I'm so excited. You guys, this smells amazing so far. All I smell is chocolate and almond. So excited. So now we're just going to get to blend in. I just have to smell this. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and transfer this to another cup and we're going to try some. Okay guys, so this is going to be my attempt to have a cute thumbnail. So I had ordered these I think off of like Amazon for Trish because we have our whole like coffee and tea station now. So I'm going to try and make this cute and put a little design with some more of that like cocoa, cacao, whatever powder on top. So let's see. Wish me luck. We're going to try and do a smiley face. So cute! So these are super fun and easy to use. It's literally all you do. Just put whatever powder stuff you want to use. They have, um, I guess, like stainless steel ones or metal ones or these kind. There's coffee beans. There's coffee. There's like a fair moon, moon and stars, hearts with an arrow. There's like a bow, <laughs> there's a leaf, there's a tree, like a Christmas tree, I guess. Then there's like a flower, and this is the smiley face one I just used. <laughs> and then the sun, which is really cute. And then this one says love, I heart you, and just like different hearts that you guys see. <laughs> so, super cute. You guys will see in the thumbnail the little smiley face, it's so cute. Alright guys, so it's time to try it. I wish you could see the smiley face right now, it's so cute. Mm. You 
guys. This is so... Mm. This is so good, you guys. I wish I could explain the texture to you. It's not like icy at all. It's very smooth and creamy and just like... Mm. Oh, this is so good. And I'm not even, to be honest, like a chocolatey person. I'm vanilla all the way. And this is so good. This literally tastes like a chocolate pudding or something. Like, this is so good. But you have, like, the nuttiness from the almond. Mm. Oh, this legitimately tastes like dessert. I love, love, love it. And like I said, I'm not even really, like, a chocolate person. And this is definitely, this might be my favorite. I don't this might be my favorite. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. You guys, this this is really, really good. It legit tastes like a pudding. Like This is so good. Oh, man. Which one do I like? I know I love that mango smoothie with the avocado. That was, like, insane. That was the creamiest smoothie I've ever had. But this is so, so good. This is definitely going to be a tough one. But you guys, please try this one if you want like a little treat or something or you're craving something or you're craving some chocolate or whatever it is make this this is so so good i am not over exaggerating i'm telling you this is amazing definitely definitely have to try this one and let me know what you guys think oh mm. but that's all i have for this video today you guys i hope you liked it and i hope you learned something new if you did like it make sure to give this video two thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos and share 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 this video with anybody who loves chocolate because i'm telling you they're going to die when they try this oh and as always if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips healthy food recommendations and delicious recipes just like this one so make sure to head over to my description box click the link and join the fam thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys i'm dying right now